Hey guys, George here from bemoregeorge.co.uk, your home for photographic awesomeness. Uh, tutorials such as this one, a podcast, and even a book coming soon. But anyways, today we're going to talk about something very quickly that is rather boring, but ultimately something you really need to know because if you do any sort of composites, this is something you will have encountered and something you might have said that you don't know how to fix and it can drive you nuts. So let's get into this. So what I'm doing here is I have this composite that you see on my screen now. This is the finished image, but I wanted to show you something that happens when you're creating a composite and always when you're doing the cutouts and that is fringing around the edges of your cutout. Let me show you what I mean and then I will show you how to fix it. So this here is the guy that we're going to cut out. I'm not going to go into a terribly detailed tutorial or explanation on how to cut him out. You'll get a little bit of that as you see me do it. This is mostly going to be about fixing the fringing that results from doing a cutout. And it happens every time unless you shrink the selection, but we'll talk about that in a second. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my quick selection tool here, and you can do that by hitting W on your keyboard. It works just like a brush. You adjust the size with the left and right brackets. I'm going to make a very rough selection of this gentleman here. His name is Dav. And we're going to do really rough. He's going to be fairly easy to cut out. He doesn't have a lot going on. His hair is not blowing in the wind or anything. So he's a fairly quick and a fairly easy cutout to do. I'll fix this a little bit here. You can do that by hitting the Alt or Option key while you select and it changes from adding to the selection to subtracting from the selection. So let's zoom in real quick and just have a quick look at our selection. We're going to fix the hair in a minute, so not overly concerned by that. We do need to look for little bits like this where it's missed his elbow. And the thing is with denim and stuff, uh, it can sometimes really 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 miss the selection um, the selection tool doesn't generally like seams as you can see here it it sort of always gets on the wrong side of a seam so I just got to check for that stuff right that all looks good let us refine the edge to do his hair refine edge tool is amazing it works again just like a brush you adjust the size with your left and right brackets and we're going to paint making sure that our crosshair is always on the edge. And what this is going to do when we let go is blend that selection in. It's pretty amazing, if I'm honest. I don't do a lot with this now. I definitely always smooth my selection to about 25 pixels. If you feather it, you're going to have more of this fringing that we're going to talk about in a second. If you shift the edge, you can shift it up or minus. If you go up, it's going to select more of the white. If you select a minus number, it's going to move the selection inside. You will have less fringing if you do that, but I tend not to really do that. So we're going to put this out to a layer mask. Hit OK. It is going to bring up our selection on its own mask. Now we're going to hit V because you won't be able to see this fringing here. I'm going to hit V on my keyboard and move him into our background image that I was using to create this composite. We're not going to get crazy with this because there will be a full-blown amazing tutorial on the bemoregeorge.co.uk website in the next month or so. And that's where you can see that. But what I want to show you is, let's zoom way in here, this. Do you see the white going along the edge of our selection? This is annoying. This, as you edit and sharpen and do anything you're going to do to the photo, is going to become more pronounced as you go. Thankfully, it's really easy to get rid of. We're going to make sure our mask is highlighted. We're going to grab a brush. We're going to have it on black. But what we're going to do is go up here, and we're going to change the blending mode of the brush itself to overlay. And when we do that and we paint, white fringe 
is gone. It is magic. Now, one thing I will say, you might have to do it a couple of times in some spots. Try to stay on the edges because the more you go over this, the more it's going to sort of make your edge really jaggedy. And if you do it in the middle, it will start to erase whites within your mask. But that's it. That's it, guys. I mean, it's that easy. And it's one of those things that people have problems with, but they don't know how to fix. And hopefully this very quick video will show you how to fix it. Fixing white fringing, you simply make your cutout, put it on the layer you're going to work on, change the brushes blending mode to overlay, paint with a black brush, and it's gone. And the opposite is true as well. If you end up with a black fringe, paint with a white brush, set to overlay, and it's gone. So that's it, guys. Hope you liked it. If this is the first video you've seen from me, I would love it if you'd please subscribe. I'm going to do weekly videos for you. Give the video a big fat thumbs up. Be sure to head over to the website, bemoregeorge.co.uk. As of the recording right now, you can only sign up for early notifications for when the website officially launches, which will be very soon. There will be a podcast and a book and all that stuff that I mentioned before. But again, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you later.